everybody welcome to my very first of hopefully many bookish cooking vlog okay so the idea behind these bookish cooking vlogs is that when I'm reading a book and there's like a dish or some food in there that kind of like inspires me I want to try and recreate that in the kitchen this kind of combines like my love for cooking, my love for reading. So I am currently reading A White Christmas Inn and in it the, it's, you know, it's basically like a Hallmark movie that's dying to be made. This inn is super cute and just like picturesque and the owner is this amazing cook slash chef we're gonna call her chef even though it doesn't sound like she's been to culinary school or anything like that it's just like the inn is just this dream that her and her husband had they opened it and from like the second chapter they start talking about all this glorious food she makes so today i'm going to try the cinnamon cornbread muffins I've never had a cinnamon cornbread muffin before. It sounded interesting and unique enough that I wanted to give it a try. And I thought that it might pair well with the chili that I tend to make. So I'm going to make the chili. And I'm going to try making the honey cinnamon cornbread. I just found a recipe online and we're just going to give it a try. So let's do this. I think I've made this chili on the channel before so I'm not going to like do a bunch of super step-by-step -step instructions on this one but I do have my avocado oil in my Dutch oven warming up right now got my turkey ready because we tend we like turkey ground turkey over ground beef it just sits a little bit better I have some bell peppers I'm gonna wash a zucchini and that is pretty much it plus the spices that's pretty much all I put in oh right and tomatoes obviously but that's pretty much all I put in my chili so I'm going to do this really quick and then we're going to tackle those cornbread muffins Okay, so I have all of my dry ingredients in here there's yellow cornmeal flour I'm using gluten-free flour baking powder salt and cinnamon so I've whisked all of that together and now the next step is to do the eggs the honey it says buttermilk but we can't have buttermilk so I'm just going to use whatever alternative milk I have in the fridge and then um, melt some vegan vegan butter so I'm gonna do all of that and preheat my oven to 350 and whisk 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 um this is a really easy recipe so far cool And I'm just carefully whisking because I should have whisked my eggs before. I usually do, but I think I was just a little distracted. So I didn't whisk them first. Usually I do. That way I know that I have them um, properly whisked. So I'm going to just carefully do this for a little bit and then probably whisk a little bit harder once I have everything kind of incorporated so it doesn't splash anywhere because that's was happening I told you I'm a messy baker what can I say 
I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll be right back. Okay, my wet ingredients are done. Here's my dry, so I'm going to whisk the wet into the dry. Muffins are out of the oven and y'all these smell so good. They have like this great hint like you can smell just like that hint of cinnamon. It smells just like warm and cozy in here. Um, they smell delicious. You can kind of smell the honey too a little bit which I know probably sounds weird but I can kind of smell it. I'm really excited. I'm gonna let them cool for a little bit before we test them out. Okay. We are going to taste the cinnamon cornbread muffin. It smells so good. It's pretty good. Um, you can definitely taste the cinnamon. There's only a teaspoon of cinnamon in the whole batch. You can definitely taste it. It's like a little hint. It doesn't like hit you in the face or anything like that. I can taste the honey. I think I personally would like it just a little bit sweeter. Um, but I am trying to make some honey butter for when we actually eat these with dinner. So that will probably help a little bit with just the sweetness level for me because I like a sweeter cornbread. But this is pretty good. Like I can totally see why a cinnamon cornbread would be in a Christmas book for sure. Hey, Jonathan. Yeah. What'd you think? It was yummy. It was yummy? Mm -hmm. It's a good cinnamon cornbread muffin. It was very good. That's going to go really well with the chili I made. Well, that's it for today's video. It was really fun just to try and make these cinnamon cornbread muffins. I'd never heard of it before. It sounded so cozy and warm when I read it in the book. So I'm glad I gave it a try. I will try and find the recipe I used and I'll link it down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.